Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemsicle and welcome to a walkthrough of the mysterious island quest in Sims Free Play. This is a main quest which just means that it is part of the main story of quests that as soon as you are able to complete this quest it will just pop up for you, you will get this pop up. You have to be at level 10 and you have to have completed all of the previous quests within the main quest kind of story that you have to do. There is a time limit of two days and there is a prize that you will win if you complete it within the two days. So when you get this pop-up, it just says unlock the untold secrets and treasures of the mysterious island. The mysterious island is a wonderful place. In Sims Replay, you have the Sim Town and then you can also get this new place, the mysterious island, that there is so much stuff over there. Like as you progress throughout the game, you'll build a castle over there, a beach, a pet park, a there's so much what else is there i can't even think what else there is there's so so much over there that you can build boat houses a little pirate ship i think is over there loads of things over on mysterious island so we want to get started and complete this quest let me know down below any sims you want added into this game if you haven't seen any of these videos in this series you guys are commenting with sim names and sim people suggesting how you want them to look what the relationships are with sims already in the game and um, that's how we're going this is sims free play let's play together you suggest the sims i do it in the game but let's get started with this walkthrough of this quest the mysterious island the prize for doing it within the two-day time limit is this centennial replica which to be honest i mean whatever it's okay i wouldn't stress for me anyway personally i wouldn't bother too much about not completing this within the time limit like i don't feel like that centennial replica is anything major but i mean you may think that's awesome and would like it and really want to do it within the two-day time limit we will do it within the two-day two -day time limit so i will show you what that looks like and then just by completing this quest, we will unlock the mysterious island, or the mystery island as it's known, as it's called down there. I don't know why it's called the mystery island down there, but everywhere else it's called the mysterious island. Anyway, the first thing we need to do is watch the news. There's a story on TV about a new island that's been discovered off the coast of Simtown. Check it out. Watch the news on a TV. So we have a new sim that we added at the end of last episode. This is Melissa. So we will start off doing the quest with her, I think. Let's watch the news for 4 minutes and 30 seconds. And once you've done that, I have a little tip for you to be able to complete this quest in time. There is a task within this quest that you can start early. There is a task within this quest that you can start early. So what you need to do is go to a house that you don't normally go to because you want to not go to this house at all until this uh, the, till this task pops up and then bring over a sim so you want to not come to this house like i say once you're over here what you want to do is find your that's not the cooker that's a plant find your cooker and start baking and you want to bake some croissants which take 18 hours well here they are they take 18 hours to do so i have just set off tony baking the croissants there. I am not going to come back into that house until I get that task. We have got that started. That will just save you a little bit of time because we can just continue doing all the other tasks within the quest and that is just ongoing and getting done. Also, while she's just watching the news there, the next thing that we're going to need to do is to find the mysterious island on a globe and so what we want to do is go and actually buy a globe so if you go into your home store and into the decoration section there is a globe for 10,000 so let's just go ahead and place that outside this is where having some money comes in really handy if you didn't see the last episode which was the the ocean view estate quest i gave quite a big tip in there of how to get some money early on in the game and as you can see now I have 131,000 which is pretty good for this early on in the game and I'm still just continuously working on this little tip so make sure you go ahead and watch that video it's in the playlist for the sims free play let's play together or I'll try and link it down below definitely a good tip in that video to make sure that you are getting some simoleons early on in the game because sometimes something just shocks you and you're like oh my goodness I've not got enough money 
for that and so you want to kind of plan to be having enough simoleons but this but she is nearly finished now oh in fact she has finished we're just kind of waiting for it to register that she has finished there we go watch the news complete now find the mysterious island on a globe they say the new island is going to be the perfect place to build houseboats how exciting imagine your sim relaxing on the deck of a luxury boathouse soaking up the sun not a care in the world you have to get there before someone else buys them all find the island on the world globe the coordinates are plus 34 59 20 minus 106 36 52 so we've already said that we have bought a globe so let's just go over and Find Mysterious Island. Oh, look, pick holiday destination. I didn't know that was a thing. Find Mysterious Island, one minute and 30 seconds to do that on the globe. Oh, while she was doing that, we have leveled up to level 11. And we got an LP. We unlocked a sim. Bit of kitchen furniture unlocked here. And some bedroom stuff. Oh, nothing. Oh, we got the Thanksgiving banquet i like that that's pretty cool and some nice wall well i was gonna say some nice wallpapers but are they really that nice i don't know whether they are to be honest oh totem pole okay there we go so that's what everything we got from level 11 i am also working on the cooking hobby as a way to get lp i'm not doing wonderfully well so far but every time you complete the cooking hobby after the first time you get five lp so i am Working on that. I've only got one sim at the moment working on it, so it's not doing wonderfully well, but it's a start. That's task complete. We've found the mystery island. Now download the bridge schem schematics on a computer. Well done. Your sim now has the exact location of the mysterious island. It's just across the water north of Simtown. If only the party boat could fit under the suspension bridge. How did the party boat even get there anyway? Your sims need to build a bridge. Find the perfect bridge and download the schematics for a bridge on a computer. So we have got a computer over here. It's a two star. And download for 6 minutes 18 seconds over on the left here. Your sim just downloaded the schematics to build the almost iconic Redden Gate Bridge. It's just like the golden version, only without the copyright. Perfect. Now send the schematics off to the builders. Just drop it off in the letterbox in front of any of your sim's houses and the mail service will handle the rest. So, the letterbox. This is, I was like, where's the letterbox? This is the letterbox for the Japanese house. But go over, click on it and post them for one second. Okay, she'll just come out here. Post them. I've never even really see, sort of seen the letterbox before. There will be a letterbox at the front of every house. It won't always look like that. It'll only look like that in this Japanese style house. The next thing is call the construction team on a phone. Okay, now it's time to make sure the mail got there successfully. Call the construction company and make sure they received them. So, have we got a phone? I don't think we have a phone in this house. So let's go over to another house. We're over at Tony and Chloe's house and if we click on their phone, we can call the construction team for 11 minutes. We have finished calling the construction team on the phone. Now we need to watch found on a TV. The construction team have received the semantics. However, they're not going to start construction until they find out what happened in the last episode of Found, the television show about a mysterious island that appears in the middle of nowhere. Hmm, maybe they'll start construction sooner if your sim can tell them the ending. Watch the final season of Found on TV. Okay, so we need to... Where's the telly? Here it is. Well, this is a one-star telly, so maybe we should go... Actually, no, the two-star telly that we have is over where Tony is baking, and we don't want to go over there. So we'll stay over here, and Watch Found is 18 minutes. Melissa has finished watching Found on a TV. Now we need to drink herbal tea. All that did was raise more questions and give your sim a headache. Ow! Give your sim some relief with herbal tea. Note, if you haven't already get a, got a teapot on the kitchen, se kitchen section of the home store, I can't speak, now is the perfect time to get one. So I'm pretty sure that I haven't got one in any of the houses. So, I need to go. Oh, this Mr. T, this is... 
the item that I need and if we click on it and have a herbal tea for 1 minute and 48 seconds that's a 2 star tea set so that's not bad we've finished on the phone to the construction team now we need to bake our croissants and thank goodness we have been doing that from the beginning. <laughs> Great. While the construction team makes final preparations for the bridge construction, you should relax with some delicious baked goods. Croissants. So if you haven't already done them, obviously just go into a stove, go into baking and find the croissants there for 18 hours. But if you took my little tip, just head over to where your sim has been baking the croissants and straight away that is task complete which is fantastic that saved us a long time now we need to build the mysterious island bridge wow perfect timing the bridge is ready to be built what are you waiting for build the bridge to mysterious island you can find it on the coast of sim town on your town map if you can't afford to build the bridge, try giving the Simoleon Sprout a spin. We can afford to uh, build the bridge because we have been using our little trick to get more Simoleons. Actually, before we start building the bridge, I wanted to suggest that, let me know what you think, about Emma and Polly becoming like best friends and moving in together. Because I want to delete, I want to demolish one of these houses because at the moment to add a new house... I want to continue building the Japanese retreats and knocking them down to earn some more money, but I don't feel it's worth it at the moment. But if I can knock down a house and then do it, it would make it worth it. So let me know what you think. Emma and Polly becoming besties and living together. So here's the bridge. Mysterious Iron Bridge. It's going to take 8 hours and 20 minutes, 7,500, and you need 6 sims, which, thank goodness... I have six sims there. Get the gateway to the mysterious island. Completing the mysterious island quest will allow you to start unlocking the downtown area. Okay, didn't know that. This leads to Simtown High School and the hospital profession. So let's get that started to build. So now out on the town map, the mysterious island bridge has been completed. So let's go ahead and click on it. And I think, yeah, task complete. And that is quest complete. Congratulations. You completed the Mysterious Island quest. Get out there and explore the island to unlock all of its secrets. And because we completed it within the time limit, we have unlocked the Island Centennial Replica. Find it in the Outdoor Decorations tab in the Home Store. So we will take a little look at the prizes from that in a second. We have now unlocked the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts quest that again has another two day time limit and we will do that quest in the next episode. So obviously the prize for this quest was the Mystery Island and you can access it two ways. You can come up here and click on the bridge or you can click this volcano down below at the bottom. So let's go ahead and just click the volcano to go over to the island. Once you're over here, you can see that there are more places that you can build. We have got access to houseboats, or we haven't got access to them quite yet. We have to upgrade the monuments, but we can build houseboats. And there's various different monuments that we will soon see, I think, in the next quest. We also have different areas that we will unlock as we go through the game. So we have a castle, we have a pet park, we have a high top carnival. There are lots of different locations and there's also places that we can build some more houses. Loads of fun stuff over at the island. The prize for completing in the town limit was the Centennial Replica, which you can find in the outdoor section in the outdoor decorations. And let's go ahead. The first one is free. To be honest, I find this a really weird thing but let's just place it down then you can see that after the first one they are 7500 but this is this is the prize and like it doesn't do anything you, all you can do is just admire the statue for four seconds it's kind of odd I don't think that I've ever had a house where I felt this would fit in or like I've ever really used it so I mean I don't know let me know what do you think down below in the comments of this because you know I mean I just don't know it's just a big statue guy I suppose but yeah that is the prize for completing the quest within the time limit 
she seems happy with it though, right? She's doing a little jig. So thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon for another video. Bye.